Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, the Battleship New Jersey crew has been invited on board Battleship North Carolina in Wilmington, North Carolina. North Carolina is still in her World War II configuration, so she's got some features that New Jersey would have had decades ago, but no longer does. One of those features is this space behind me. So today, we all scream for ice cream. Today's video is brought to you by Rustic and Maine. Rustic and Maine makes rings like this one out of reclaimed wood. Mine is made out of teak wood from Battleship New Jersey's deck. We're visiting Battleship North Carolina in the middle of summer. It's a little bit warm and we are not in the South Pacific. So I can only imagine how much worse it would be. New Jersey had air conditioning added in the 1980s, but North Carolina does not have that. There's some forced air ventilation going through but it's still a little bit warm inside the ship. So the ship is outfitted with the capacity to make ice cream. Battleship New Jersey has some relatively modern Taylor ice cream machines in her mess decks where we can make ice cream too. But during World War II, our setup would have looked very similar to this one. Ice cream played a huge role in the Pacific War. The, the US Navy had it and issued thousands of gallons of it daily throughout the fleet. But not all ships had it. Battleships and aircraft carriers, capital ships, had room for their own ice cream plants. Smaller ships did not, so they had to resort to some unconventional means to get their hands on ice cream. Uh, one thing that would happen, destroyers would often rescue downed pilots. They're much smaller and more maneuverable so they wouldn't return them to the aircraft carriers unless the carriers would pay a ransom in ice cream. Some of the smaller escort carriers, the so-called Jeep carriers, were not big enough to have ice cream machines. So they would take drums of ice cream ingredients, strap them to the bomb racks on the underside of their aircraft, launch these aircraft, because the pilots have to fly every week to maintain their qualifications, whether they're in combat or not, and then have the, ice, the aircraft fly up to a colder altitude and do barrel rolls to mix the ice cream so that they could then bring it back and distribute it to the crew. If you wanted to have ice cream and still sail on a small boat where you're not uh, crammed in with 2,000 other guys, maybe the submarine service is for you. You would only be on a ship with 80 other guys and submarines had their own ice cream machines. Plus, submarine service is entirely voluntary. So if you volunteer for it and can pass training, you likely get the ice cream. Battleship New Jersey still has what's called a ghee dunk and uh, still serves food out of it if you stay on board for our overnight programs, which are restarting in September. On Battleship North Carolina, the ghee dunk is called the soda fountain. Ghee dunk is both the place on the ship and also the ice cream sundaes that were served out of here. But the soda fountain has the capacity to mix soda, serve the ice cream that's been made, um, and, and sell other snacks and, and things like that. So it's one of the rare commodities that sailors on these ships in wartime had access to. Battleship North Carolina has a pair of great videos on their YouTube channel, one about the soda fountain, and one about the ice cream uh, mixing station. These were made by the ship's volunteers and uh, go into much more depth on these particular spaces and how they worked on North Carolina. Be sure to check them out. We've got a link in the description to their page. We also have a link in the description to Rustic and Main's page. Rustic and Main was the sponsor of today's video and uh, they made this wonderful ring for me. It is a gold band with teak wood from Battleship New Jersey on the outside, and oak reclaimed from a whiskey barrel on the inside. So it's a very cool ring, and uh, it's very hot on board today, so my fingers are starting to swell, but I'm not having any trouble slipping this in or off because they sent a 3D printed ring sizing kit to me before I ordered the ring. So I was able to try on these 3D printed rings, wear them for a couple of days in uh, hot weather and see what would fit and what wouldn't. And uh, this isn't just straight wood, it's also in some sort of uh, epoxy or enamel that makes it very, very smooth. 
So it's very comfortable to wear and slide on and off, even with sweaty, swollen fingers like I've got right now. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I love me some cookie dough. Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey also receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State. Thanks for watching.